So here we started with a brown piece of fell and a metal wreath form that you can grab right from the Dollar Tree. And taking a permanent marker, we traced around the middle column of the wreath form. Once we had our circle, we took a pair of scissors and cut that out. We then grabbed these closed pins. They come 100 in a pack, and we got them right from the Dollar Tree. And this writ dye that you can find at Joann Fabrics or Walmart. And you're going to mix the dye into the water. And then you're going to place your clothes pins inside the water and you're going to let them soak until they are a shade that you are happy with. You want to take some paper towel and just dry them off. We then grabbed our brown piece of fell and this burlap placemat that we got from Hobby Lobby for, I believe, $2.99 without a coupon. And we glued our brown piece of fell onto the burlap placemat. We then laid the wreath form on top of the burlap placemat. And using some green floral wire, we attached them together. We did it in a few spots to make sure it was nice and secure. We then took our clothespins and we clipped them on the inner two bars of the wreath frame and we went around the entire frame. For this 12 inch, we used about 58 clothespins. And then we took a black Sharpie marker and we just made a bunch of dots on our brown felt. I got this ribbon from Michaels and I made sure I grabbed three different widths and I started with the largest one on the bottom and I stacked the other ones on top of each other to make a stacked bow and I pinched the center together and tied it using green floral wire. And then I used the green floral wire from the stacked bow to then attach it to the wreath. And I had these sunflowers I cut the stem off of and I just placed one on the bottom of the bow and a smaller one on top of the bow. And that's it. Now we just have this very easy clothespin wreath that you can use on your door or hang in your home. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com and we have many other videos and tutorials over on our YouTube channel. Have a great day.